This is Tracy Broussard with RoadDogOnline.com and Keo Stroud, drummer for Big and Rich. So Big and Rich is your primary gig, but you've gotten the, your thing has been subbing for different people, and you're really good at it. What's the challenge in going in and stepping in for somebody and being the guy? The challenge is making sure that they don't realize that someone else other than, other than their normal guy is playing drums. And how do you achieve that? I don't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, seriously, it's, it's to make them feel comfortable, right? So uh, a couple things happen. Uh, for some, most of the gigs I've been doing for a while, like Jake and... A few of the people in that been subbing for, we know each other a little bit personally, so when they see the face, they go, oh, it's Keo, we feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And I think that has translated to other people too, where they go, where the name is, go, oh, Keo, that guy, oh yeah. It may not be exactly like our other guy, but he's going to show up, be prepared, do his thing, and our show is going to be what it is. You, as a drummer going in, what are you looking to prepare for? Well, and how do you prepare? Well, the biggest thing back in the day when I was younger, I didn't. I lived in an apartment, so uh, the the biggest thing you had to prepare for ultimately was the show. Like you, you just couldn't go. Okay, well, I need to learn four songs, and then I'm done. Like a showcase, you actually had to learn someone's 30, 40, 75, 90 minutes set. So the whole thing had to be treated as kind of as one long song. You had to know the, how to start, stop. The talking, all that stuff, and if there's tracks involved, you have to learn how to do that. So back in the day, when I was younger, I would, uh, I actually like drew out a cardboard of an SPDS, and I would set it up on the side, and I had some pads, and I would just play the music, I'd play along to it, and I would hit the pads as I was supposed to, as I was triggering the, the triggering along with the MP3 that was playing, and then now I have a little studio, so now I can actually play. So you can actually bring your tracks over to me, and I can do it. Mm-hmm. If it's something super last minute, which I've had some of those calls where it's like, man, our drummer just had appendicitis. That happened with Randy Hauser years ago. Our drummer had appendicitis, man. Can you leave now? Yes. Uh, but that was the thing where I just learned to set like on the bus ride up. Wow. <laughs> That's pressure. <laughs> when I get those calls, I go, all right, I can do Like, first, can I do it? Yes, I can do it. Do I want to do it? Yes, okay, all right, so here it is. So with wanting to do it, that means that you have to be prepared to do things that they want you to do, not just things that you want to do. Are they lucky that they got me? Eh, sure, I guess, but if it's not me, it's someone else. Mm-hmm. You know, because the, the show's gonna go on, they're gonna call somebody. But with calling me, I'll say, <clears throat> I try to do my best to honor the, the guy that played before and, say, and, and the set and the you know, the whole thing. I try to make it as if I was actually on the gig and not subbing the gig. And it's your gig. And it's my gig. Mm-hmm. And, and I'll tell people, I'll be like, hey man, it may not be what you're used to, but it'll be perfect. So the other side of that is you're not going into the gig wanting to take somebody else's gig. Nope. No. That's, that's the, the wrong approach. That's the wrong gig. approach. I will play the gig like I want the gig mm-hmm. because that's what you should do. But at the end of the day, you say thank you. Hope this guy gets better or... I'm glad I can help a buddy out in a time of need or whatever, and then you move on. But no, I, I go in with the whole thing of like, it's your gig, I'm just here mm-hmm. for the day, or as long as you need me to be there, and I'll do it, and it'll be, you know. And I'm also open to suggestions, like if we get get a rehearse, I'm in, like uh, next week I'm subbing for, for Myron, uh, for a show with Jake, we actually got the rehearse, uh, he was there to kind of coached me along with some things that I didn't realize were happening because, you know, you can only get so much from board tape sometimes. Uh, but yeah, but you know, when I'm done, like Wednesday morning, when I get on a plane and fly back to South Bend, I think is where I'm going, the gig is his again. You know what I mean? He gets, he gets to come back, it's all good. <laughs>